BoxingVoice.com, we are here with CEO of Main Events, Kathy Duva. Kathy, tell us about this event you're promoting with K2 with Gennady Golovkin and Curtis Stevens. Well, November 2nd in Madison Square Garden in the theater, Gennady Golovkin is going to take on New York's, Brooklyn, New York's Curtis Stevens in a fight that I think is going to be uh, the, the sleeper fight of the year. <laughs> now, obviously, when the initial offer went out, you had put it out there that HBO didn't make an offer and you didn't like it, and maybe this wasn't the fight for Curtis. What changed? Well, it was always the fight for Curtis, um, but as Curtis said, you never take the first offer. So what changed was the number. <laughs> now, obviously, it's a big event New York. K2 wants Gennady to be a New York star. Curtis Stevens has New York behind him. Um, is it more of like Curtis Stevens trying to defend his home turf from this big monster that no one really wants to fight? You know, I don't know if in Curtis's mind he's defending his home turf, but the way I'm looking at this fight, I got a guy who punches like a truck, is in his hometown, and all the pressure's on the other guy. It doesn't get any better than this. Now, can you talk about an undercard? I mean, I know you guys want to put something nice together. Is, is there any rumors or truth to the rumors that ought to make uh, Brandon Jennings might be on this card or another card? Um, no. <laughs> There's not. <laughs> so, so what's next for two guys? Are, are they in line to fight each other, or we're going to wait for that till next year? Um, we are working on that now, and we'll have some answers um, shortly, but it's a little, little premature. Now, talk about NBC. I mean, we, we've seen Gabe Rosado get on TV. Sergey Kovalov is now kind of like a triple G uh, of, of the uh, 175 division. And now Curtis Stevens is in HBO. How, can you talk about the success of your NBC Sports Network and how you've built fighters to get them on the big stage? Yes, I, I'm very pleased and, and delighted with, with everything that's gone on over there. Um, NBC is the greatest partner in the world to work with because they let the matchmakers make the matches. And as you see what's happened as a result, we have fighters who are learning, fighting in good competitive fights, which makes them better fighters when they do step up. Uh, and, you know, you, you've seen the success where the people who basically follow our plan and win the fights make it. And uh, frankly, anybody that follows our plan and wins the fights is going to make it. Now, you have Sergey Kovalov, who, like I said, is like a Gennady Golovkin, Lucas Matisse. Guys don't want to get in the ring with him. I know HBO wants him back. Uh, is there any names out there for him, or does anyone even want to fight him? I actually, we're hearing that people do want to fight him. Um, I, I am, I'm, I'm not surprised. Look, I, 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 how do I explain it? If people want to be the champion of the world, they're going to have to fight the champion of the world. I think they all know that. And I think that, that most fighters... Um, understand that this is the risk you have to take and that there's no there's no shame in losing to, to Sergey Kovalev. So Sergey Kovalev, it could happen. But I'm hearing and people we're talking to basically are saying, you know, that they, they, they are interested in the fight, they do want the fight, and he will fight absolutely anyone. So I don't think it's going to be really that hard to make fights for him. We'll see. Final question. Are you keeping a keen eye on the winner of Stevenson, Tavares Cloud, and next year's fight between John Pascal and Lucien Boutte? Uh, most definitely looking at all of them. Uh, Sergey would like to step up into those HBO championship boxing level fights as soon as possible, and he will be ready and willing to fight absolutely any one of them in any order they want to send them over. Yes. Well, there you have it, BoxingVoice.com, CEO of Main Events, Kathy Duva.